Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 8th, 2021. Well, yesterday, doggone it, it seemed like the Diamonds, the Spy, and the QQQ just ran into some trouble finding any kind of momentum. Just couldn't get her done yesterday. But it was interesting that IWM saw a pretty substantial surge. So small caps and and a lot of uh, a little bit more speculative stocks did really well yesterday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs, buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. I hope you're all fired up and ready for today. Let's take a look at these indexes and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, if we take a look at the diamonds, taking a look, we still have our trend in play. Our trend still continues to hold up here in the chart. Although we had just a little bit of a problem yesterday with a bearish engulfing candle that came in here on the market. Now, that is concerning simply because we can kind of connect these tops up. And it's really only going to be a major problem, I think, if it follows through. If we get a follow through today to the downside, that would be a little bit of a concern for the Dow. But as you can see, lately we've just been lacking momentum. We'll get a bearish engulfing candle or a big ugly bear candle, and then we just can't follow through the next day. And this morning we're kind of seeing the same thing. As you can see here, futures are picking up off of overnight lows here in the Dow. So we're really at this point not getting that follow through. However, we do have to respect these big dark candles up here and just realizing that resistance levels in these charts are being defended just a tiny little bit by the bears. And if they were to find some kind of inspiration, that could turn into a bit of a problem. So watch that level up here. And I would say, Let's keep a pretty close eye on this resistance level in the chart right here as we may take another shot at that here soon. And then realizing we still have um, highs that need to be um, broken if we're going to continue on higher. Now, let's also at the same time keep a fairly close eye on price support in the chart. We're in good shape here as long as we continue to hold that price support. And it may be just a situation where we're just filling out this wedging pattern, which means we could chop around in here several more days. So just keep a close eye on it. Now let's take a look at the SPY. The SPY did a little bit better yesterday, just creeping up there toward that breakout high. Um, the headline news out there is that we're um, you know, from the markets is that we're hovering just below new record highs. And as I've said before, it would seem very unlikely that we would get this close to a new record high and the institutions um, miss the mark of pushing us through. Now, having said that, just because we push through a resistance high doesn't mean that we can hold it. So you wanna be really, really careful as we push up into resistance levels of the chart. Even a pop through can fail. And we've seen that um, you know, many times where we pop through here and then um, immediately turn around and reverse. So we're gonna have to watch that pretty carefully um, because we don't seem to have a whole lot of momentum. Now, it's also entirely possible that we could just drift along here, um, waiting for some kind of inspiration in the market to get us energized. So watch that carefully and also keep a close eye on that price support. As long as we remain range bound in here, I don't think there's too much to worry about in the market, but we always want to respect overhead resistance in the charts. So keep an eye on that. And then again, futures are pushing up here this morning. They may take a shot at attacking that new high um, here first thing this morning. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now NASDAQ did even better yesterday, pushing through and notice that we lifted ourselves right up into price resistance levels of the chart, 
pushing on up and they're trying to push the queues higher this morning. So big tech has been trying hard to lift up. Um, we saw Facebook breaking out to new um, new price levels yesterday. And um, Google, although they um, received another fine and antitrust activity, um, pushed on up yesterday as well. Apple rebounded a little bit. Microsoft came back up a little bit. So we saw just a little bit of um, uh, buying in there. Now, one of the things we do want to remember here in this chart is we've kind of suffered a trend break. And if we draw a trend line up here and notice that we could rally back up into this area and we could find these resistance levels and that trend break could serve as that resistance. So watch that closely. But right now, I think we're in pretty good shape here on the queues as well. We seem to continue to lack in momentum overall. So we have to, as we approach those resistance levels, be really careful not to over trade just in case we pop up into there and then find those bears defending. So watch that carefully. Then let's take a look at IWM. This is where all the energy was yesterday and, and, and just really came in strong. Um, notice that we're pushing up here toward these resistance highs and we may push right up into these levels uh, today. It was interesting that we saw so much energy going into a little bit more speculation type stocks and um, that small cap. And I can't tell you just yet if we're seeing maybe a rotation, could be an early warning of rotation into more of that small cap. But watch that closely today as we push up toward those resistance levels in the chart. Keep in mind, we could always push back. Just those bears are still out there. They could push back, but we have some support levels in that chart below. Um, although we really ha don't have much of a trend um, at all, we've got this short term trend moving, but overall, we have been in a long-term, long-range chop zone here in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. Anything is possible. But as we push up to attack resistance, we always want to respect those price resistance levels. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX had a little bit of a bump up earlier yesterday, but at the end of the day, we um, closed the VIX with little to no change, um, no fear in the market and that possibility that we could finally break down here if we can get those bulls coming through we could finally break down but one thing we want to be a little bit careful of is um, as we continue to push up there's this general sense i think by a lot of the the new traders in the market that the market will never fail that the the fomc will the fed will always save the market and I'm not sure that that's true. As a matter of fact, we've seen recent reports just yesterday that the FOMC has begun its campaign to let everyone know that they may start pulling back on asset purchases. And I think maybe that Thursday CPI number could be critical to that decision. So watch um, watch that number when it comes out Thursday. But for now, no, no real fear here in the market. Um, at all. And I think that is overall bullish, that opportunity that we could push on through to the upside and maybe set some new records. So watch that carefully. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Interesting yesterday that although the diamonds was selling and the spy was trying to hold and the cues were holding up nicely, we had virtually no change here in T2122. So what this does tell us is that we do have some room for an upside move. If we can get that little upside pop, um, find some inspiration in here, we do have room for that upside move. But we should kind of keep in mind that we are up here in that bearish reversal zone. And notice that every time we're up here in this reversal zone, that's when we tend to find some reason to sell off. So watch that closely. If we happen to uh, find some inspiration for those bears, keep in mind that we have considerable downside opportunity if that would occur. Not saying it will, just that we have to respect that resistance level above and just be watching for that possibility if it should occur. Let's take a look at our T2101. And this is where um, it's just kind of um, 
perplexing. We continue to press and press and press to the highs, but we just cannot seem to garner any momentum. There is um, market, the absolute market breadth indicator continues to shrink and sh just show lots of apathy. Really, we just can't get some momentum going, um, both bullish or bearish. So kind of an interesting circumstance, perhaps um, over the next few days, we will find that inspiration and get something moving. But kind of an interesting situation where market breadth just is not there. I don't know what that means, but I think we should be a little bit cautious as that condition continues. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We do have a couple of things that we'll want to be paying attention to on that economic calendar. Let's notice right in here on that calendar, we have um, international trading goods that will be out at 8.30 this morning. Um, largely, it seems like the trade gap is ignored anymore. Um, the U.S. is no longer manufacturing much of anything. We have shipped that out of country. And consequently, uh, the, the major trading partner, China, is not living up to their trade commitments. And they're buying less and less and less. And this trade deficit continues to grow. So we're going to have to watch that carefully. Maybe someday um, markets will suddenly care. But for now, I'm not sure that they will, um, particularly as the total focus of the institutions right now, I believe, is to hit new record highs. And then later on this morning, we have the job openings report. Typically not a major market mover, but because we have kind of a light day of data, it may be more important today. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now on the earnings calendar, we have a rather light, well, we're just winding down um, earnings season. And so we have a rather light day. We had 19 companies listed this morning on the calendar with several of those not being um, um, confirmed reports, but I did pull out some confirmed reports that we may want to take a look at today. Take a look at um, THO. THO will be reporting today. It looks like they were popping up this morning. Um, keep a close eye on this. We're holding on some support in here, but overall a downtrend. So watch that closely. That earnings report may be just what it needs to bounce off of there and start a uptrend, but watch it carefully. Um, we have CHS um, in there. Chico's Fashion will be reporting today. It looks like they're gapping a little bit, a bit higher. This has been in a tremendous run. It's been kind of amazing to see how clothing um, retailers have been doing extremely well here recently. Uh, maybe, you know, uh, some of the first stimulus tech checks seem to go straight into technology. Um, and maybe um, people are buying up clothes now um, with some of that stimulus money. So keep a close eye on that. We're breaking through some resistance levels. Very, very strong move. Now, one thing I would be really cautious of is this is so extended in the short term, I wouldn't want to chase that. But watch it closely. Um, how about JILL? JILL reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Again, another apparel store that's just been running, running, running to the upside. Notice we have this nice little rest and consolidation in here. May have to still slide over toward that trend before it takes off. So watch that earnings report. May find that inspiration in that. We have Momo on the list today. Now, I got to tell you, a lot of these... Um, Chinese companies are struggling just a little bit in that, I think it's June 11th, um, uh, the Biden administration moved their deadline where they're going to have to start um, complying with U.S. accounting standards and practices. The SEC adopted that rule. And some of these companies risk delisting. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, but as Momo continues to um, run in this downtrend, it's perhaps that earnings report that could give it some inspiration to move up. We have FTCI on the list. I put this on the list, not particularly notable just because there's not a lot of data on this, but it was a confirmed report. So keep an eye on that. And last but not least, CHS. You might want to, oops, I already did CHS. Um, 
um, Navistar, that's the one I wanted, and AV. There we go, Navistar um, reporting today. Now this is just a messy, messy, messy chart, but you know it's one of the notables for today. Let's take a look at our um, stocks that could be setting up for today, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post a video. And I wanna say thank you to everyone who's been clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving those comments, um, um, that's really helping the uh, channel to grow probably more than anything. So thank you to everyone who does that. It takes the time. It means the world to me. And even if you just, you know, uh, post a, an emoji, you don't have to even do a long comment. It, it counts and continues to help. So thank you very much. And then also thank you to all of those folks who are supporting the channel through Buy Me A Coffee. Truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And remember, none of these are recommendations to buy or sell any security. And you need to be doing your own due diligence, making sure you understand very, very carefully the risk of every trade. You should never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at some of these that could be setting up. I, I added Valero to a list yesterday and you can see I've placed an alert on that chart. I like the way Valero has broken through this area up here and pulling back. Energy continues to remain strong. And I get this sense that with inflation um, continuing to spike that um, energy could remain strong for some time. So watch that carefully. Um, as this wrestler pulls back and consolidates out here toward that trend, look for that next opportunity in Valero. Um, take a look at cannabis. Oh my goodness, cannabis getting some energy here yesterday particularly. Um, they're surging up out of these bottoms. Now, I want you to kind of keep in mind that this is a pattern that it can be a very, very productive pattern. Notice our 50-day moving average, 200-day moving average, the 500-day moving average, and all of the shorter-term average, averages coming up in here to provide some price support or a moving average squeeze um, in that chart. Take a look at cannabis, crone, very strong, popping through here yesterday, looking for some upside move. Take a look at TLRY. Now, I happen to own TLRY, so please understand there may be a little bit of a bias here, but also in that same kind of bottoming pattern, perking up in the the chart and looking good. There's that moving average squeeze again. And if we run through several of these, notice MJ, the um, cannabis ETF, um, holding above its 50, showing bullish patterns, breaking down trends. Um, CGC, um, still underneath these resistance levels. This one might be a little bit more problematic, but keep an eye on it. There's ACB out there all of these cannabis plays are really starting to pick up so watch those closely um, other places that you might want to look um, um, in the market take a look at this stock ar now this was actually brought to me by one of the members of right way options and i got to tell you guys i usually don't say anything about rwo and the benefits of being an rwo but we've been making some nice money lately and one of the cool things is is we have a room full of well-trained traders with all their eyes on the market and um, one of the great benefits of being in a room like that is just having those trained eyes um, bringing up stock ideas uh, throughout the day. And this is one of those great looking stocks. Um, pushing up through resistance, holding, consolidating in here. I've placed an alert on that chart. It fired off yesterday, slipped back just a little bit. But a good looking chart might be one you want to keep an eye on. Take a look at NKLA. NKLA, we um, in right way options, we made some great money in NKLA. We entered right down in here. Closed that for some profits, and now NKLA has been resting, pulling back. I think there still is that opportunity that this may need to rest a little bit more. So no rush here on this trade 
I don't think anyway, but watch that closely. It is possible we could just take off from here with the, um, with kind of that speculation trade going on right now, but watch that carefully. NKLA, nice little pattern. I also have to say, um, I like NIO. NIO made a great move yesterday, alerting in here, following through this morning. Again, I think there's that possibility that this may still have to come back to that trend, but watch that closely. And IO looking very, very strong. You might want to take a look at CCL. CCL holding up nicely here. Notice that we've moved up in this trend. We're consolidating that move up here and we have plenty of upside room to come on up and test um, that next resistance level in the chart. So Carnival Cruise, if you have an interest in that kind of, and, and just see that coming back after COVID, might be a good thing to be keeping an eye on. Another chart you might wanna take a look at is Plug. Now Plug Powers is um, a position that it may have some problems in in the next few days just because of earnings here on the 10th but i like the way this pattern is manifesting um, coming up out of this bottom notice up above their 50 and 200 there's that moving average squeeze coming in there so keep a close eye on that um, fslr first solar is another chart you might want to be keeping an eye on um, this is starting to come up in this pattern. Notice we're breaking that downtrend. We're trying to hold in here on that on that support. So keep an eye on that. It's trying. I'm not sure that it's going to make it, but we're starting to see some of those um, uh, energy um, alternative energy stocks trying to hold up. Twitter is another one that I mentioned yesterday, I think in the morning prep video, and that followed through, triggered the alert, pushed on up. And as you can see, we have a gap up here that may be filled. We're gonna run into some price resistance and we're gonna run into a longer downtrend in that chart. But I think up to here, there's some opportunity in Twitter. So keep a close eye on that. And then last but not least, guys, I got to continue to mention gold and silver um, as inflation continues to become a problem. And I don't know if you saw that this morning um, we have uh, Bitcoin down 7% this morning because, huh, the federal government was able to access that and get money back on, um, even though it's supposed to be completely anonymous and uncrackable, apparently the federal government has the ability to do that, at least in some cases. And um, so we're seeing gold um, getting a little bit of energy this morning as that Bitcoin pulls back. And I like this chart holding above this support level, holding above its trend, looking pretty good overall and that opportunity that we could move on up and test that next level of price resistance. Now silver, silver is not quite as special in its pattern here, um, but I don't see anything wrong with this chart. We continue to hold price support. We're still challenged by a price resistance, and notice we had that selling move that came in, but we're pushing back up in silver. So keep a close eye on that. I think there could be lots of upside potential in these um, if inflation continues to rear its ugly head. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I hope you have a um, great results in your trading. Make some great profits today. Be safe out there. Be careful. And we'll see you right back here bright and early. Wednesday morning. Have a great one.